Bonjour Libra and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your monthly tarot reading for the month of June. So as per usual I have separated my deck. I've got the major arcana here for the energy for the month, the court cards to see how you are advised to show up this month and the minor arcana to delve into the message. So I hope you're doing well. The cards I'm using are the one JJ Swiss tarot deck by Vincent Petitchi and they will be linked in the description box below. So what do we have for my Libra Aquarians, please? What's the energy for the month of June? So your energy for the month is the Death card, which obviously I will explain to you as I've got all my cards out. How are they advised to show up this month? What cool card should they embody? The Knight of Wands. Okay. see what we've got for you. I hope you're doing well by the way. <laughs> and obviously please remember those are general readings. They will not resonate with everybody so take what resonates and just drop the rest. And if um, you know you resonate better with your Moon, Venus or Rising signs then you might want to check those readings out too. Okay I think that's about right. So we begin your reading with the Two of Cups. We then have the Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Supporting the Two of Cups we have the Six of Cups. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on a second. Let me put it higher. There you go. Then you have the Five of Pentacles. And a beautiful Ace of Cups. Alright, so the energy for the month is the Death card. Now, the Death card, um, obviously we're not talking about literal death, we're talking about a deep, profound transformation. This is the end of something so that something new and better can be birthed. Um, this card is often referred to as the um, Phoenix Rising, you know, because there's a better version of you that's going to come out, or the be a better version of a relationship that's going to come out of the ashes of what had to end. So this is, you know, things are happening for you, not to you. Um, but this is a big energy of deep transformation and the end of something, so something better can start. And you are advised to embody the characteristic of the Knight of Wands. Now, I love the Knight energies, generally speaking, because it talks about taking action, things moving forward. It's very empowering energy. And the Wands being the suit of passion, desire, power, it's a very, very um, well, fiery com combination, because Wands are fire energy anyway. So the Knight of Wands is someone who is going to follow their um, hearts and desires and they're going to go full steam ahead. And, and as I said, um, you know, it is very empowering to be in, in this kind, kind of energy. So this is really telling you that you're advised to take action, to follow your passion, you know, what your heart and soul truly desire is, you know, what this is. Because this is the brand new beginning that's going to give you something so much better than what you had before. So we have the Two of Cups with the Six of Cups. So the Twos represents um, duality, um, they also represent decision, sometimes relationship, and the Cups represent the emotional realm. Now out of six cards you've got three Cups, so that's half of your spread to do with the emotional realm. So it could be to do with relationships, love, but simply what makes you happy or unhappy. Okay, and also to do with sometimes intuitions and creativity, but generally speaking here for this reading I'm getting the um, feelings, emotions going on here. So the Two of Cups can represent a significant partnership or relationship. It doesn't have to be a romantic one, it could be someone in your family, it could be with a co-worker, a partner at work, 
you know, just a significant um, relationship. Um, it could also indicate having to make a decision based on your heart space, you know, what's going to make you happy long term. Um, and sometimes the Two of Cups talks about the relationship between your higher self and your conscious self. The Six represents harmony after having overcome a challenge. So this is emotional harmony. And sometimes this represents a long-term relationship. It may represent a relationship you've had with someone you've known for a very long time as well. So I can see here that we are looking, which is the clear message I'm getting, at a, a significant partnership or relationship that either has been going on for a long time or with someone you've known for a long time. Take what resonates. And this could be at work as well. It doesn't have to be at home. And there is this beautiful Four of Wands with the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Four represents um, solid foundation, stability. Wands being the suit of passion and desire, as I've explained to you with the Knight of Wands. This is a landmark, an achievement. Um, and this could be uh, also sometimes um, talking about a proposal because this is a landmark, an achievement after having a period of growth. So this is this partnership of relationship having grown to a certain point um, of stability and achievement. So it could be a proposal. Um, if it's not that um, romantic, it could be, um, you know, in, in, in a company, it, it could be signing a, a contract that gives you a, a raise, for instance, you know, a better position in the company or, you know, your business going uh, to a better um, status. Take what resonates. Um, for some reason, and it's just for some of you, I have to say it because it keeps on um, messing with my head. It could also be an, um, a relationship you have uh, with a nephew or a niece and you are the godfather or the godmother and there's a uh, baptism going on. But that's really specific and that's for just for some of you. Ignore it if it doesn't resonate. And it's supported by the Five of Pentacles. Now, the Five is a change, and the Pentacles represent the physical realm. So we're talking uh, home life or work life, which is why I said to you, this could be um, something happening at work, or this could be something happen happening within your personal relationships. So this, this achievement, this landmark, is um, creating a change in your physical um, environment. You know, things are not going to be the same, is what I'm hearing, because of this um, landmark. And then you have the Ten of Swords and the beautiful Ace of Cups. So, as I was telling you, this landmark that you've achieved within this relationship um, is bringing about a, a change, okay, in your physical realm, which is what the Death Card is about. And it's bringing about the end of a cycle. So the Ten of Swords, Ten is the completion, and Swords is in the mental realm. So we're talking, uh, obviously, your thoughts, ideas, knowledge you've acquired, truths and communication. The Ten of Swords talks about accepting something, you know, and releasing it. So sometimes it's not a comfortable energy because, you know, you may not like what you hear or what you found out. But... It doesn't have to be. It just sometimes can be uncomfortable. The swords cuts. They can, anyway. Um, but the Ten of Swords definitely brings about, you know, the end of that cycle, you know, which obviously echoes the, um, the Death card. And remember what I said to you when I said, oh, the Death card is something needs to end so that something even better can be birthed. Well, there you have it. Um, so this could be a mental re release of something, accepting things for what they are, adapting and being able to start afresh because you have released what burdened you. It's, um, for me, it's the card of, you know, um, the burden is lifted from your shoulders and you can breathe again. That's what this card is to me. And this is because you've got a brand new beginning here. So the ace represents the seed, um, the potential of a suit. So what does it mean in the emotional realm? Well, it could be, um, if we're talking about a long-term relationship that's still going on, the renewal of this love. If we're talking about an achievement, a landmark in this relationship, this could be the birth of a child. If we're talking about uh, business, this could be the birth of a new project. But anyhow, this is something that's going to bring you deep joy because the cup represents 
um, the container of your happiness. It contains the water of your happiness, your feelings. So this is really the potential of pure happiness. It's a very, very positive card. It's beautiful to have after the, um, the, the release that um, the Ten of Swords brings. It's saying that, okay, this, is, this has happened so that this brand new beginning that has that potential of sheer happiness for you can come about. Um, I have to say it because this is for some of you, not all of you, but someone needs to hear this. You may have been struggling to fall pregnant and this has happened now and this is what this Ace of Cup is about. So, you know, releasing what this is and this could be adopting someone as well. Um, you know, releasing the pain of not being able to get pregnant maybe and um, adopting someone. But that's for someone particular. I'm sorry, I'm getting a very specific message. Um, here, but otherwise this is what I was talking to you about. So I can see how this progresses really nicely for you, although that with the, the end of a cycle sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable, there is sheer happiness coming your way. Um, so this is looking very good. Now I'm going to close out your reading with the final cards. So can we have a final message for my Libra Aquarians please? this card right here called me. Yeah, you see that's beautiful. You have the nine of pentacles. Now, I love the energies of nines because they represent achievement, attainment, and this is in the physical realm. So the nine of pentacles is a card of um, confidence, you know, self-confidence, being able to stand on your own two feet and knowing that you don't necessarily need other people to feel complete. Um, this is a very self-assured um, energy saying that you know how to take care of yourself and be prosperous and abundant and it does not need uh, to mean financially it could also mean emotionally um, so it's a beautiful empowering energy um, and combined with the knight of wands here when I was telling you you know take action confidently towards what your heart and soul truly desire this is really embracing the idea of this brand new beginning and having the confidence to know that, you know, you've got this, um, you know how to take care of yourself and people around you. Um, and obviously, you know, these are just the energies, you have free will and all of that. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If the message helped you in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. I wish you a beautiful month and I will see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.